Hello everyone, my name is Irene Zanardi and I'm going to present HUMI, a small multisensory space designed for autistic students of primary school. A small enhanced space could make school more accessible for students that experience sensory overload. HUMI is composed of an LED panel with proximity sensors that allows multiple interaction modalities while being cost-effective. On the lateral walls, there are eight tactile panels made with different fabrics to engage kids that prefer tactile stimuli. On the floor, there are ambient lights, pillows and a carpet to make the environment more welcoming. This study was carried on in a primary school with 11 students with a neurodevelopmental disorder, of which four were autistic, and their support teachers. Our goal was to understand how kids interact within UMI, in particular to improve its accessibility. Moreover, we wanted to understand how teachers perceive multisensoriality in school and how to make such a tool flexible. We conducted a co-design session with teachers and asked them to imagine the use of HUMI in their school routine. Then we involved the kids in three relaxation sessions and two expression sessions. All the activities were video recorded to conduct an indirect observation afterward. In the relaxation session, kids were free to explore the space. We played a piece of classical music and the LED wall displayed a, a soothing animation. In the expression session, kids played together with their teachers. They could touch the interactive wall to light up cells and play with their corresponding sounds. Thanks to the observations, we were able to conclude that small multisensory spaces with different degrees of interaction can motivate engagement. Other than multimodality, designers have to pay attention to the position of each touch point. By allowing them to decide their own experience, we can make them feel in control and therefore less worried. Lastly, teachers' need for flexibility can be defined according to the easiness of management, adaptability to teaching methods and customization parameters. These don't need to be numerous, but they should provide a wide range of possibilities. Otherwise, too many choices will make the system more complex, increasing the perceived effort of use and thus decreasing chances of adoptability. In conclusion, even though a small multisensory space like HUMI offers fewer interaction modalities than traditional ones, it could be an answer to the needs of autistic kids and the needs of teachers. Starting from the results of this exploratory study, we intend to carry out extensive research to understand HUMI efficacy in improving students' well-being over a long time. Additionally, we want to understand how it impacts the teacher's routine to improve its usability. Thank you.